Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to factor the polynomial below. Now factoring is a super important part of um, college algebra and I do suggest that you learn it one day <laughs> uh, in your college algebra classes that you get really good at it. Um, but I am going to teach you a cheat method here that you can use when you have a multiple choice a question like we do usually in the GED when we're asked to factor. It's usually multiple choice. And um, if you've been asked to factor a polynomial, it's important to understand that the opposite of factoring, uh, it's not, hold on, my pen's not working here. There we go. Okay, the opposite of factoring, what is factoring but pulling um, something that's already been multiplied apart into its, uh, into its components? Basically, it's division. And so you can do the opposite of factoring uh, by multiplying. And you might say, well, Kate, why in the world would I want to do the opposite of what they told me to do? Well, that's one way that you can work backwards with a multiple choice problem. You can guess what the right answer would be and then check it. Okay, so let's take a look and I'll show you what I mean. So maybe you might guess that the right answer is A. You think, well, I think it's A. I'm, uh, I am haven't learned factoring or I forgot factoring. I'm not sure what to do. Well, if you guess A, you can check this. You can check it. Notice what A is. It's just one uh, little binomial, x plus 6, one ugly number, basically, multiplying with another um big ugly number x plus four and hopefully you guys have learned to multiply binomial that's a skill that you can't get away with uh, without knowing on the ged but that's a much simpler skill remember that when you're multiplying um two things together that are in parentheses like this what you're going to do is you're going to pass out every term in the first parentheses to multiply with every term in the second parentheses some teachers call this foiling but as long as you're multiplying everything in the first with everything in the second, you'll be fine. So first I'll multiply my first term by my first term, x times x. 2x is multiplying is the same as x squared. Now I'll multiply my x with my positive 4. You might say, Kate, that's a plus 4. Yeah, it's a plus 4 when I'm adding, but when I'm multiplying, I think of it as a positive 4. So positive 4 times x, or x times positive 4, is just positive 4x. Okay, now I finish passing out my first term. Now it's time to pass out my second term, the positive 6. So let's try. Positive 6 times x will be positive 6x. And positive 6 times uh, positive 4 would be positive 24. And this is looking really good so far, but do make sure that, as always, you combine any like terms. So that's part of simplifying. You add together anything that's uh, the same kind of term. So there's no other x squared term, so I leave him b. But this is an x term, and so is this. So plus 4x and plus 6x, I have a positive 4x and a positive 6x. I'm going to end up with positive 10x is plus 24. Really, really close to this original statement, but not exactly the same. Yeah, I have an x squared term, but this one said positive 10x. This one says positive 11x. Uh, it's definitely not a. Let's uh, guess and check the next one. Now, I have to tell you the truth. I'm a lazy woman. And I'm thinking that since I have two positives here, I probably am working with some positive numbers. Um, because a positive times a positive equals a positive number. And a positive plus a positive equals a positive number. And so um, the next one I think I'll guess is this one, D. Uh, let's try it. <clears throat> so again, I'm going to multiply through x times x is x squared x times positive 8 is positive 8x. A positive 3 times x is positive 3x. And positive 3 uh, times positive 8 is positive 24. So I get x squared plus 8x plus 3x gives me plus 11x and uh, plus 24. And we can see this one indeed does check. I have an x squared term and an x squared term. I have positive 11x or plus 11x, and I have plus 11x up there. And I have plus 24 here, and I have plus 24 there. D sure was the correct answer. Okay, now, 
If this feels confusing to you, it's probably because you don't know how to multiply binomials. So that's the prerequisite skill you need. But like I said, it's much simpler than factoring. So you might want to go back and watch some uh, videos on multiplying polynomials. Oh, well, I hope this made sense to you. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments.